This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Chris Langlois with your Eyewitness News webcast on this Thursday. We'll kick things off with a check of your forecast with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. What can we expect this Thanksgiving? Well, Chris, it is going to be a very cold Thanksgiving day. Temperatures are in the single digits in some spots this morning, and we're going to be fighting to even get out of the teens through the afternoon, where most of us are going to end up staying. At best today, it's really going to end up being the lower 20s, and this is going to be record-breaking cold for today. So that record of Wilkes-Barre and Scranton was 28 set back in 2008. We're expecting to break that today. Mount Pocono record of 24 set back in 1937. We're expected to break that today as well. So 22 today and that'll be a stretch for a lot of us in the eyewitness weather forecast. Now we do have a decent amount of sunshine, but it's not going to help that much with the wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight we're down to the single digits. That wind does slack off a little bit, so that's the good news for tonight and tomorrow morning. 32 in the afternoon with plenty of sun. Little rain Saturday and we're in the 40s this weekend. Chris. Thanks, Stefano. A Northumberland County woman is helping to feed those in need this Thanksgiving. Rhonda Fisher started the Thanksgiving feast 20 years ago in Sunbury. And last night we caught up with a group of volunteers who are preparing to serve hundreds today. The dinner in Sunbury starts at noon and will serve until the food runs out. Rhonda is also hosting a Thanksgiving breakfast at the Zion Lutheran Church at 9 this morning. And the an annual Thanksgiving Day tradition is stepping off in Columbia County today. It is the 109th annual run for the Diamonds in Berwick. Runners will take on the nine mile course for a chance to win some bling, a diamond pendant for the woman and a diamond ring for the men. People from around the world have participated in years past. The race begins at 1030 today. You know it's the holiday season in the Electric City when they flip the switch and light up the Times Tribune Tower downtown. It's a Thanksgiving Eve tradition that's now in its 58th year and it never disappoints. There were also fireworks to mark the start of the holiday season. Thanks for joining us and have a very happy Thanksgiving.